Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical journey on the River Elbe. Our journey takes place on the riverboat, the Katharina von Bora, as we visit historic churches and cities along the river. Our musical journey begins in Dresden, the Florence of the Elbe. In our musical journey on the Elbe River, we leave the beautiful city of Dresden and travel north to Meissen, known for hundreds of years as the makers of porcelain.
When one hears the name mice in Germany, one can only think of the famous Meissen porcelain made in the town of Meissen, Germany. In our musical journey, we arrive at Meissen with a very special visit to the Porcelain Museum. Here we are able to see over 20,000 examples of famous Meissen porcelain. And most interesting of all, an organ with porcelain pipes. In 24 years of traveling the world to play great and historic instruments, we on the Joy of Music have never encountered such an instrument as this, an organ with porcelain pipes found in the Porcelain Museum in Meissen, Germany. At the front of the organ are 22 porcelain speaking pipes, and in addition, the organ casework and pictures on the door wings are made of porcelain coated crystal glaze. It was our pleasure to welcome to the Joy Music Mr. Ludwig Zeppner, chief designer for over 50 years at the Meissen factory and the designer of the fascinating porcelain organ. He explained to us the difficulty of building an organ with porcelain pipes. 1733 was the elector of Saxony, Argus the Strang, Argus the Starke, no? and he gave an order for the porcelain factory in Meissen. Please, I like to have, in this material, it is new in Europe. Porcelain is new in Europe, 1730, yes. And I like a pipe organ from porcelain. Uh, and uh, they have, in this time, experienced some things, mm -hmm. but it was not, uh, not ready. It was uh, only wind. Why was it so difficult? About uh, 280 years ago, 1732, uh, uh, said it was not right to make this. Uh, porcelain uh, that will be smaller by the firing, uh, about 17 uh percent -huh. Smaller. Oh, I see. And when you make this uh, ready in, in, in the row uh, yes. material, and then in the fire go, this get done, and never is. Uh, uh, it never is correct. It's, it's, not, never is it's not correct. It is very difficult, and it's not possible to make this one. And it was your last work in the firm yeah. to make these yeah. porcelain yeah. pipes. And it was very interest for me and this, yes. I am happy that this is the last uh, the last walk is what with, with music <laughs>
The porcelain organ is found in the Schauhalle or showroom of the Meissen Company here in Meissen, Germany. It comprises over 20,000 pieces and around 3,000 exhibits per year are selected from the vast stock and displayed in the Schauhalle. Our musical journey on the Elbe River continues from Meissen to Wittenberg. Wittenberg, Germany is known as Lutherstadt. In the history of Wittenberg, of greatest importance is the date of October 31, 1517, when Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses against the selling of indulgences to the door of the castle church in Wittenberg marking the beginning of the Protestant Reformation in Germany.
musical journey on the Elbe River, we welcome flutist Jacqueline DeVoe. Interestingly enough, Jacqueline is a member of the staff of the riverboat, the Katharina von Bora, and serves as shore excursion manager. She is also an outstanding flutist who has served for over 15 years on the faculty of the New England Conservatory and performs often with orchestra and chamber music ensembles. Jacqueline DeVoe joins me in the Castle Church of Wittenberg, Germany. Martin Luther was a great admirer of the life and faith of both Felix Mendelssohn and Johann Sebastian Bach. As in the lives of these two great composers, Luther loved the scriptures and was often seen strolling the paths of Wittenberg with a Bible in hand. Luther believed that next to the Word of God, music was the greatest gift.
My name is Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have taken you on a musical journey on the Elbe River. Our journey has taken place on the riverboat, the Katharina von Bora, as we have visited historic cities and churches along the river. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844.